Hello guys, Crispy here, welcome back to another video in this one my friends, I'm gonna be testing the Radeon 780M integrated graphics in body cam. <laughs> <laughs> yes, my friends, it's been a while since I tested this game. It's super hard to run, as you probably know, but a lot of people have been asking for it, so I'm bringing it back and testing a few more GPUs in it. You can see the GPU specs here in TechPowerUp's GPU-Z, those that show up at least, and we're using 8GB dedicated for the GPU alone. Over on the left, you can see the CPU. It's the Ryzen 7 8845HS that we're using here with 32GB of RAM, 24 of which are being utilized as RAM and 8GB for that VRAM. As I told you, it's 5600 mega transfers per second or megahertz, and the system that I'm using is the B-Link Sir 8 Mini PC. Let's get into it, shall we? All right, guys, so apparently the developers removed the option to see the on-screen display from MSI Afterburner as well as Reva Tuner and FPS Monitor. I tried a couple of uh, overlays non-work, I wonder why that is. Are they hiding something? <laughs> Firstly, I thought it was because of an anti-cheat being added, for example, like EA also added their anti-cheat and it removed Afterburner support, but apparently it still doesn't have one, so I don't know what's going on. <laughs> anyway, I'm just gonna go here to the performance tab and enable the overlay and we can actually see the FPS this way. Unfortunately, I can't really start counting the FPS, the averages and so on, but we can see the FPS in the 1% lows right here, which which is good enough, I guess. It will have to do, okay? Anyway, let's go over the settings first. I am starting at 1080p resolution using the low settings right here. It's the lowest settings possible. Aside from the upscale quality, which is set to high instead of like extreme, I guess extreme is native resolution. Last time that I checked this out, it wasn't even working. And by the way, nearly two months after the game released, you still need to... Uh, <laughs> it's still quite buggy, okay, the menu. But you'll still need to manually adjust the resolution every single time you restart the game. So they haven't fixed that. And here we have it, guys. Things are looking pretty soft as usual in this game. I mean, the upscale quality set to high, not extreme. Actually, let me check that out. We're getting 25 FPS right here. It looks like this. It's also the drone, so it's not as sharp as when you're actually playing the game. And let's see if I set it to extreme here. Remember, we were getting 25 FPS, now we're getting 22 FPS, or 23 right there. So it's a little bit of a difference there, not to the point where it matters, honestly, but uh, yeah, it is what it is. Okay, let's just uh, turn the flashlight on to this guy. Oh, we already lost, never mind. I'm gonna set this back to high because I can't really tell the difference in terms of the picture quality anyways. It's soft either way. Uh, and let's go. Oh, I was going to start counting the FPS, but unfortunately we can't because of, of this. Uh, overlay that we're utilizing, the Radiant settings overlay, but at least it works and we still have access to a bunch of settings there, a bunch of statistics actually, not settings. Okay, can I play like this 20-something FPS? Oh my god. Whoa, ah, whoa, whoa, no, no, what the hell happened? What the hell happened? What is going on? Oh, they're behind us. They are already behind us. Come on! Did I get him? Yes, I did get this one. Uh, let's go this way. <laughs> I can't believe I'm actually doing this with 20 FPS. I guess the game is so clunky and janky that you can actually play. <laughs> oh, what? Did somebody just drop from there and died instantly before hitting the ground? I'm not sure. I don't think you can actually go up there, but okay. Uh, let me reload, actually. Okay. We got a, an enemy drone on top of us. Uh... You know what? Maybe I'll just let him be, because I, I I don't think I can kill a drone. <laughs> oh, there we go. <laughs> it's easy after all. Obviously, we will need to utilize some FSR and frame generation to make it playable. But you know what? At least compared to the GTX 1650 that I tested previously in this game a uh, month ago, or actually like a month and a half ago, I think, it is better. That's probably because in that video I tested the most intensive map, apparently. I wasn't really aware of it. Well... I was kind of aware of it, but I didn't know it was that much more intensive, okay? Uh, so you can't really directly compare things. Anyway, we're now using FSR 3 on quality. Are we dead already? What? Frame generation is still disabled, so there is still room for improvement without killing the graphics completely, although it's becoming quite a bit of a noisy mess at this point and a little bit pixelated as well, but not to the point where it matters too much. Previously, it was super soft. This actually sharpens up the image a little bit compared to the native resolution that we were utilizing, or TSR with upscaling quality on high, I guess. 
you never know which one is native resolution. But again, extreme TSR upscaling still looked like crap and super, super blurry. So there is that. And I think they might actually come this way. Oh boy, I can barely see the red dot actually. Eh, maybe it's accurate to real life. I don't know. Why did it become so dark? Oh my god, what the hell? It's like a horror movie at this point. <laughs> it's so dark. Well, at least we can see actual decent gameplay. Never mind. The guy already died. <laughs> we lost it. We're losing zero to nine. Holy crap, dude. Nighttime. Here we go. We're back at it. Dropping still into the 20s sometimes. 1% lows are at 22 at the moment. Uh, yeah, let me just disable the flashlight. Turn it off. God! Oh, it's a shotgun! I didn't know! <laughs> All right, anyway, now we can fly around for a little bit. Still getting around the same FPS. There's a guy right here. Come on, people! People! Friendos! How can they shoot the drone so fast, dude? They must have hundreds of FPS in the... That's impossible, actually. But yeah, <laughs> they, they must have a high refresh rate experience, right? 4090 or something like that. And I mean, we're playing here with integrated graphics. No wonder that we're losing. Maybe our friends are also playing with integrated graphics. Yeah, this is almost unplayable, guys. But we're getting there. We're almost getting there. C can I go to the menu? No? Okay, there we go. For some reason, it wasn't working. All right, so I'm going to enable frame generation on top of FSR quality. You can't really, or at least you couldn't turn off FSR and use frame generation previously. And it's still the case, as you can see, <laughs> if you try turning it on without FSR being on quality, it doesn't work. But all right, this is it, guys. I, I have no idea what's going on. Why are we inside of a plane? Anyway, the... Stop, 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 stop. stop. Oh, come on, come on. I think we got him. Yep, pretty sure we did. Let's reload. Super dark right now, thankfully. That's why we didn't die instantly there. Ah, no, another one. Okay, we're dead now. Okay, we're back here. Still getting those 40-ish frames per second. Now, the thing is, the game is super clunky, as I told you. So the input lag from frame generation is not really that bad feeling in this one, but it, it is atrocious. It is super high. But... The fact that you also get input lag, basically, even at native resolution... What happened? What is going on? What? Hello? What? Oh, end of round. Oh, th that was super weird once again. Okay, look at that, guys. Looking great, isn't it? Super realistic graphics, although real life isn't that blurry and motion blurry and ghostly as well there's a ton of ghosting here with frame generation enabled in this one plus fsr as well there's a floating oh no it's not a floating gate. it's just a, a drone okay i forgot that there were drones here uh anyway yeah 50s it's not a good experience you get the idea i'm gonna go ahead turn this off and try to achieve a decent frame rate, you know, 30 plus most of the time, at least, with performance FSR and no frame generation next. It looks similar to quality FSR, although there's a little bit more noise at this point, and it's uh, slightly softer as well, but yeah, it's not terrible. <laughs> I guess, especially if you're on a smaller monitor. And now we're getting like upper 30s, low 40s sometimes. Oh my god, I don't want to stand in the middle of this. Yeah, they probably... Yep, I knew it. I knew that was going to happen. Did I get him? I think so. This is a little bit trippy once again. Like, the, the controls are super clunky. Everything is really, really clunky. The movement of the camera as well. We won! At least we won! And I helped! I got a kill. Uh, I'm not sure if anyone is there. <laughs> Probably not, actually. Uh, is that a, an enemy? What the heck? This is an enemy. Hello? Did I get him? Uh, two kills. Yes, I did get him. I'm doing something this time around. Come on, come on. Oh my god, yeah. This, this feels really bad outside. 27 FPS. So even with performance FSR at the 1080p resolution, which is 540p internally... You can't get 30 plus all of the time. And this isn't even the most intensive map once again. But let's enable frame generation on top of performance FSR and check it out now. <laughs> it's over already. Okay, this is another map and uh, we have a deagle. Did they add this recently? I don't remember there being a deagle in the first uh, games that I played here. All right, let's go. I can't see the red dot sight here with the frame generation enabled plus performance FSR, by the way. It's really hard to tell. Oh, there's a bomb right here. Wait, are we supposed to disable it? I think so, right? Can I... Oh, what? 
What happened? I just pressed E and I picked up the bomb for some reason. That was weird. I think we're gonna lose this one because only one of ours is alive, I think. Yep, there we go, they got him. And we're getting around the same 40-ish frames per second experience that we were getting with FSR quality. That is terrible, guys. <laughs> this is with frame generation. Basically, the input lag that we're having is half of the FPS that we're getting. So we're getting 25 FPS uh, equivalent input lag here by using these settings. It's pretty terrible. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, uh, come on, buddy. We can do this. We can do this. Oh, my gosh. I can't see. I can't see. Is that a guy? No. No, no. That's nothing. Did you get him? I think he got him, actually. Okay, I still don't know how to disarm this. It's not F. It's not E. E is to pick it up. Oh, wait. Am I doing this? I don't know how to do this. What the hell? Pick it up. How can I drop this? All right, there we go. Do it, buddy. Do it. <laughs> what? You missed. Uh-oh. <gasps> we did it. We won. Thank you, Apollo. <laughs> oh, my God. If it wasn't for this guy, we'd be dead. <laughs> Because I don't know how to disarm a freaking bomb in this one. All right, anyway, if it's not playable like this, guys, I think it's not going to be playable ever. Ultra performance is 360p resolution at the 1080p res, okay? Let's enable the frame generation on top of that. And, uh, well, it's it's slightly smoother, actually. 50s now. That's not too bad, but now it's it's become a pixelated mess, basically. It, it, it looks really bad. <laughs> It already looked extremely bad previously, and I would not recommend that experience. That is not a guy, right? Yeah. <laughs> I can't tell. This is way too low of a resolution. Where is the bomb? What the heck? Hello? Oh, Polly, I believe you. You can do it. No, we're gonna die. We're gonna die. Oh, no, it, we don't die with a bomb explosion. Interesting. <laughs> anyway, we're getting 55 FPS on the 1% lows. That's pretty decent, actually. Although in normal conditions or normal games, it wouldn't be that great because, well, it's, this is the same as having the same input lag as half of the frame rate, right? Okay. All right. I'm inside of the house. I'm here with my boy Opale. I can't do this. Yes. All right. Um, I think we should stop it there, guys. This is terrible. It's not going to be smooth at all. You shouldn't buy this game. Even with a good GPU, don't support this. This is just terrible. And lastly, I, I'm just gonna drop it down to 720p to see if that improves something. All right, here we go. This is 1280 by 720 using the same settings here, of course, low settings, high TSR this time with no FSR or frame generation. And it seems like we're getting native 54 frames per second, 55 right now. So this is way more playable than what we saw previously, that's for sure. This is way too loud at the moment. Oh boy, I fell. Uh, where is the bomb? Where is the bombo? Okay, well, it's over. I'm the last one alive in my team. My teammates are probably wondering why I'm so bad at this game. Well, I was just changing the settings. Okay, I'm so sorry, people. I'm so sorry. Let's go. Yeah, this is this is actually playable, although it's way too soft for it to be enjoyable. Like, look at these graphics. Have you ever seen a game this bad looking at supposedly native 720p? You know what? I don't think it's native, again, because of that high um, TSR quality here. So I'm going to set it to extreme, all right? I'm going to set that to extreme. This is now native resolution at 720p. <laughs> What? The, yeah, this is the most blurry game that I've ever seen. It's a UE5 asset flip. Come on. All right, got him. Boom! Come explode! <laughs> oh, Opali is telling us to follow him, so I, I'm gonna follow him before we change the settings. Let's go. Let's go, buddy. I kind of want to go in front, because if I die, there's no problem. But yeah, if you die, there is a big problem. Uh, okay, hopefully they won't plant the freaking bomb. Oh, no, 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 they did plant it. It's downside, it's downstairs, downstairs. Let's go! <laughs> <laughs> it's a terrible idea to try to bunny hop in this game, apparently. <laughs> anyway, guys, I think this is unplayable even without upscaling, but let's enable upscaling and see if it helps. 
Still getting around the same FPS, 40. Yep, okay, so that does nothing, basically. <laughs> Although it sharpens the image slightly. So I'm going to go ahead and enable performance on uh, the frame generation, which is on. Yeah, just going to enable frame generation. And here it's getting 60s. We won? How did we win? Well, okay then. And we're getting 60 FPS at the moment. I saw it touch 70 previously. That's pretty good, although again, we're getting the input lag of 30 FPS, which doesn't feel very good, but it... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> That's the loudest thing I've heard all day. But okay, uh, yeah, this is, this is not a good experience in terms of responsiveness, but at least it's becoming smooth at the cost of all of the resolution. <laughs> <laughs> right like this looks absolutely crappy dude this it's really bad oh my god that's so loud that's so loud they also say well guns are loud so yeah <laughs> it's probably realistic ah that was a friendly i hope that wasn't opale otherwise he's probably so sick of us already <laughs> wow 70s over here it's all it's it's over already we won what what is that oh they only got two people okay <laughs> if we still manage to lose with only two people on the enemy team it's it's yeah we're atrocious we're the worst uh anyway it is possible in some time of the day <gasps> i got the bomb i don't want it guys i don't want the bomb i'm just gonna plant it here actually ah <laughs> Okay, I, I planted it successfully at the very least. See why I haven't tested this game more often, guys? It's because of this. It's just not enjoyable, at least to me. Like, and with these specs, obviously it isn't. But yeah, we should have seen it coming. You probably saw it coming, actually. Hello. 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 <laughs> what happened there? I think I killed one at least. <laughs> yes, I did. One kill, seven deaths. That's amazing. So it's not a, it's not good. It's, you're never going to get 60 plus 100% of the time. And this is, of course, with performance FSR on top of 720p resolution, which means that we're playing the game at 360p. It's all for us. And with frame generation on. But now let's try something terrible. Ultra performance FSR with frame generation. This is... It's going to be the worst graphics we've ever seen <laughs> in this game, at least. Look at this. Yeah. Anyway, this is it, guys. This is 240p internally being upscaled to 720p. Obviously, it doesn't look anywhere near as good as 720p, and 720p was already really, really bad. Ah, oh, look at this. Look at this. Look at... Ah, oh, that is... That is atrocious. <laughs> I mean, I'm glad we can make the game look this bad, but if only it actually performed better, that would be amazing. I like to see bad graphics in games on the low settings because that means that it's scalable. You can play it with very low-end hardware, but that's not the case here. You're getting pretty much the same performance as like FSR quality, uh, 720p and frame generation enabled. So there's no point, absolutely no point in playing this game with these settings i guess that's been it guys i really thought we could be getting like 60 plus all of the time in this one but it's not going to be possible with the 780m integrated graphics unfortunately uh, gpu usage isn't even maxing out right now i wonder if cpu is about probably not like it's probably like bandwidth limited or something like that that's it i hope you enjoyed this atrocious video <laughs> I'm so sorry if I gave you a headache or something. At least the FPS aren't in the single digits, so that's a win. Again, don't buy this. I'll catch you in the next one. Love you all. Bye-bye.